Good morning everybody, welcome to today's vlog. I'm doing two vlogs today. Um, we're starting off, I have traveled, let's have a look, about 11 and a half miles from home. This is a road that I would have traveled down every day when I used to go back to forth to London for work. Uh, basically, I'm at a place called Ivanhoe, or between Ivanhoe and Pitstone. Uh, it's a beautiful little village called Ivanhoe to my left. You've got Tring to your right. Somewhere in between, so maybe two, three hundred meters outside of the village of Ivanhoe, you come across this place, it's called Pitstone Windmill. Um, it's a 17th century windmill. I've seen it many times, driven past it many times, but never actually gone up to it and had a closer look. So with doing vlogging now, I thought maybe it's something a bit different. It's the genre I'm sort of in. My niche is to do the quirky, the unusual, that sort of kind of thing. So let's, let's have a closer look. Okay, this is the spot. You have parking facilities here. That's your road that takes you to Tring. That's Ivano Village, just over that side over there. It's getting a bit cold, so put putting gloves on, etc. National Trust. This is a very old landmark. I don't believe it actually works anymore. Well, let's go and have a closer inspection. You hear plenty of birds and have little creatures running around in the, the fields adjacent to us. Surprised there's not actually a scarecrow out here. Yeah, that's quite a beautiful sight. I believe, yeah, I can see it from here. That's not actually a fan towel. That is, um, I don't know, is it is a wheel and drag? What basically you would do with a fan towel, the wind catches it and drags it in the direction and then it picks up the wind. With this, that wheel there on the pole, people would have to, maybe horses would do it, they would position the windmill in the direction of the wind to actually get it going. And from there, it does its bit. People from the local villages would probably had grain put in there, it ground it down to flour and that make the bread for the, the adjacent villages in the area. I'd say your, your grain would have been loaded in through the store in there. Wow, that is huge. Old, that's for sure. I think I'll step back a bit in a minute, see if I can get a better view of it. Yeah, it looks a lot better from this side. So you've got the Chilton Downs. The whole of this area is beautiful. And it's all on my doorstep. I don't know if you can see in the distance over there. There's an old manor house right up in the distance. That's the picturesque village of Ivanhoe. It's got its church. I can hear a dog. I dare say I'm going to have a dog running after me in a second. Nope. There you go, sprint along in the field. Quick little fella. Anyway, back to the windmill. Yeah. Beautiful sight. Old. Bliss in one bit. Fair play to him for fixing it up. Don't know what this this wooden plinth bit is. I don't know whether that's anything to do with it, whether it was a seat in there, etc. Plenty of little bunny holes everywhere. I don't know. I don't know if anyone knows what that would be. It's obviously, I'd say, probably the workings. Ah, maybe it's something to do with the wheel. So it looks like a skateboard has died at some point. I won't be going up the stairs, I don't think that's advisable. There you go. Hope the wind's not affecting the video too much. Obviously, 
this has been recreated that it's just like looks like fence paneling if they wouldn't have had the screws like that otherwise i'd be be touching history and that's certainly not the case it's reconstruction but the the general windmill itself is all the original i believe it's an old motto or is it an old saying i'm not sure you turn around and say it the term chasing windmills um, in short it means it's a journey with an open heart I guess kind of like my YouTube journey with you guys um, you're coming along with us and it's all of an open heart that we do this and yeah let's have some fun tilting a windmill so that's something else I wrote down um, it's basically to attack imaginary enemies uh, the most famous sort of instance of these sort of thing first published in 1604 uh, the exploits of Don Quixote so I say the word Don Quixote and I think of Don Quixote Shrek but there you go anyway that is it for the windmill and let's make our way from here I'm walking backwards try not to fall last over to it the next vlog the next location I'm going to now is going to get pretty much spookier vlog from now we've done the windmill now we're setting off to something that doesn't freak me out um, I think if I was doing it at night I'd be a bit more concerned we're going to a famous, uh, famous place called Clop Hill it's um, a place that has a history of we say demonic activity probably not demonic activity but it's um paranormal ghosts there's been satanic rituals taking place there etc it's an old um i don't know how many years old it is 14th century church it's out the way the top of the village it's off a, an old lane on a hill but we're going to go and have a look at that and document it and see what we can find Right guys, let's do this, let's be on our way, I'll see you in the next vlog, take it easy.